my channel it is your girl April Newly Me but if you are new hey YouTube bestie so if you can tell I have you facing down on my little makeshift desk here if you saw my resolutions video you know I want to get back hardcore into my planning I have literally fell off and my life has been a shambles since so I got two planners uh, for Christmas and they're both from Plum Paper. So I just wanted to do an unboxing, go over my planners, the supplies I got, just so I can start off the new year correctly. So again, I use Plum Paper. I've had a few different planners. First, I was Happy Planner. Did not like the look of the Happy Planner at all. No tea, no shade. Then I went to Lime Life, which was, in my opinion, kind of expensive. However, it was a great planner, but it was kind of on the pricey side. And then I went to Plum Paper. Now, Plum Paper is the most affordable option for me because I like to customize a lot of my planners. For the price, this was right, and it's also really good quality. They always give you this little sample card, and it kind of shows you what your planner is made out of. Kind of a card stock, but not as thick. Very pretty. I love this little design they have. So the first printer is my main baby. And if you can see the quote, it says, wherever life plants you, bloom and blossom in grace. I love that saying. I don't know who said it, but I saw it one day and I was like, yes, child. Um, it also comes with a little sample paper that shows you the material, just like the other card. But if you haven't, if you can't tell, I love green, my favorite color, and I love plants. My header on the YouTube channel is, you know, this fun plant. All of my thumbnails now have a plant background, so very heavy into the plants. Sorry if I keep wobbling, y'all. I'm still trying to get used to this setup, so I'm so sorry. But we're gonna go ahead and quickly open up the planner. So I chose to go with an A5 unpunched. There's like four different sizes. You can also get unpunched, the regular hole punch, and the little tabs, like if you are familiar with Happy Planner. I like to uh, put mine in a binder, so I always opt for the no punch. It comes with very hard plastic to protect the actual cover. Then we have my pretty cover. I love this cover. And like I said, it's really hard, y'all. Y'all can hear that. But very pretty plant theme with the little saying. You have your normal weekly planner personalized for you, by you, and then you put out belong to in case it ever gets lost. I do not take my planners out the house. I know that there are some women um, and men that work outside the home and you take your planner. I am not hurt because I am too afraid something's going to happen or it's going to get lost or what have you. But anyway, after that page, you go on to your 2022 months on two pages. Then this is the special dates page, which I really like because I have a pretty big family and I also have now a pretty big extended family as far as my in-laws. Tony has seven brothers. Child, sometimes forget. So it's a lot of birthdays. We also now have two nephews, so a lot of birthdays. So I like to use these pages in particular for birthdays and anniversaries. Then it has ideas, plans, and goals. This is also, I think this is new. I don't think this was in the one last year, but I love this idea because I like to set goals each month to hit certain things. Like I may have a goal for our house, our car, our business, or what have you. It can go on these pages. So I really think that was a great addition. Then you go into the months. All the tabs are back here, mind you. Let me show you those first. Cause I know y'all was like, girl, it just goes into the daggone month like that. But I have all my tabs here. I picked a neutral instead of a colorful. Sorry, my angles go off. I choose the neutral color scheme versus the very colorful just because I wasn't feeling it that much last year. It was a little bit too busy. I'm not going to show you each month. We'll just go over January and you kind of get the gist and the feel of the actual planner. So January is a very pretty royal blue. This page I want to utilize more. I didn't last year, but I think it would help me. Again, you have your birthdays, any kind of events, things to remember, and then you have two blank uh, spaces or columns rather. Not sure what I'm gonna use this for. Maybe for my spending. Maybe these will be for bills. Haven't decided that. And you also have these three circles. Never really understood why I needed that if I have all this. I probably won't use those, but if you do want to use them, child, they're there. Then there's always a note page. 
and I think I opted for this personalization. Yeah, I did. You can get, um, it can go straight into your months or there can be a note page, you know. I like notes. Usually what I do here or what I used to do is put my grocery shopping list and spending, but I have different plans for that this year. This year, I'm just gonna put down what I'm mainly focusing on. Every month, again, I want to focus on something either me, for me personal, the home, to, like something that we're doing, I wanna utilize for this page and write it all out in detail. Um, after your notes page, it goes straight up to the month spread, which I personally love. I don't do a lot of decorating in my planner. Some people use their planner kind of like a scrapbook, which is really cool and beautiful. I don't have the money to spend on all the stationery and stickers. Plus, I just am not that talented. I would be spending money for it to look crazy. I do love a monthly layout. I do. This is where most of my stickers go. I opted to have my week starting on Monday. I, I hate when calendars start on Sunday and Monday. Like, I like my Saturday and Sunday together. To each its own but definitely like the monthly layout also in plum planner you can pick which holidays if you just want to blank no holidays or it gives you a list of holidays i don't celebrate some of the i don't celebrate some of the holidays they don't go with my culture boom nicely put but you know i have new year's martin luther king day i've just picked the ones that i celebrate then there's also a note column and then it is a little calendar going into next month which i find very helpful weekly spread now if you can tell you see how this is a dark blue and this is grayed out it starts on actually the 27th of december and this is all grayed out all of plum pa plum paper <laughs> planners that is a tongue like tie plum paper planners all of their planners have that in common like it just starts at the end of the month or whatever. And if you're not on the current month, it'll be grayed out. I don't particularly like that, but child is what it is. But so I picked, I cannot remember which model this is, but there's about five or six different kind of weekly spreads. If you like horizontal, uh, hourly, vertical, there's a whole bunch that you can choose from, which is another reason why I love this company because there's the customization is just undefeated. You have your little month up here, the current month that you're in, and then there's this box and I choose to, I chose to put uh, focus and inspiration. You can always choose the headers. You can take them out and leave it blank. You can put your own. They have a d default header in all the sections. That's the customization again is just beautiful but i chose to put focus and inspirational and i also picked the header clean i have a cleaning schedule so each day of the week except for saturday i have something to clean these are my important things that i have to get done that day whether they be for youtube our business personal stuff like any appointments it's going to go here then I have the rest of my day. And it, go, it goes on to that. Saturday and Sunday are smaller boxes, but to be honest, I like to chill on the weekend. I don't have a lot to do, thankfully, on those two days, so that's just fine. Uh, there was a header here that had notes. It was a default header. I took it out and just put left it blank. I'll probably put a sticker or something there. And then they have a little column where you can check things off. I chose the header habit tracker. I have to start drinking more water. I'm gonna track the days I work out, etc. So you just put whatever the subject matter is and you check off the dates that you got it done. So that's just the weekly spread. Then after each week, there is a note page. Now I believe that's standard. You don't have to order that extra, but there's a note page. And then I put a reflection page. This was an add-on where you can get just overall wellness. I really wanted to focus on that for this year, especially the first of the year and I'll be going through a lot of stuff so you can put the month the past month in three words which i really like wellness skill you know happy calmness produ productivity fulfillment energy and health i started i finished top three things things i did places i went food i ate things read or watched the most memorable part of this month we're gonna be honest i probably won't be doing this whole food i ate i think this area right here i'll probably maybe cover up the headers you couldn't customize this part but i don't this section right here is not really important to me i do want to put my gold here and you know if i finish that goal i love the wellness scale and the most memorable part memorable part of the month i'm not too sure what i'm gonna do in this section but these four things really aren't that 
important to me. Then when you flip it over, this month's goal, mango, progress I made this month, how successful this month was, how can I improve for next month's, steps to reach improvement. Really like the self accountability and reflection on this side of the page, so I'll definitely utilize this. I opted for graph paper on the end of each month, just if I needed to brain dump or you know anything like that, take notes, I have that option there, and then it'll go into the next month. Love this calendar. I think that's all the add-ons I got. The only other thing that's different, I believe in the back you have my contacts, which I never use because I have my cell phone and it has the little pocket for you to put things in. But other than that, everything is pretty much the same. Here's the back end of the cover, which I love the color scheme. And then I will show you my second. So I did get two planners, like I said, got a second planner and this one is already bound. It came with this, you know, how to take care of your planner, as well as like the Instagram for plum paper and if you tag and all that good stuff. So this is my baby, y'all. This is my planner that will be simply food related. The reason why I got this planner is just because I do a lot of cooking. Usually I cook three meals a day for me and my spouse. I coupon, I'm always, you know, checking for deals. I like to save money when I shop, I meal plan. So that was a lot to go into my everyday planner, which consists of housework stuff, as well as things for my business and YouTube, like it was just too much. So it's better for me to have a separate planner just for all of the food stuff, in my opinion. Plus, I just like being extra and having a little, you know, extra planner. Same plastic as the other one. I love this calendar, not calendar, this cover. I didn't get any customization because this is just too cute. It says Farmer's Market, but this is like a preset, what they call a preset planner. So it's pretty much the same thing. Uh, who the planner belongs to, 2020 at a year's glance. So let me get this in frame for y'all that's better 2022 in a year's glance you still have your special dates like if we were having any parties if we were bringing a dish for any family gatherings or parties or if i myself like if i love to do a big valentine's day thing for tony i can put you know my menu and stuff here goals uh for our patreon in my business i do do live cooking i do recipes and things like that this would be great to utilize for that and then it goes straight into the month just like the other planner and this one i did opt for the colorful just so i thought it went with the cover a little better so but it's the same blue yeah same blue as in my regular planner same setup birthday events things to do this is good again if you have kids or you're throwing a party for someone you know you have to do this for this birthday or if you're going to a potluck things like that here's where it gets different all you get in this calendar this is just a monthly calendar meaning all you get pretty much in the monthly layouts so there's a note page when you first start january then it goes straight into the month and then i have a bunch of note pages for January what I plan to do I'm the type of person I get bored easily I don't like having I don't like to have the same thing you know two three times a week or I don't like having this you know dishes too close in proximity to when I had them the last time so I like to do a monthly layout just because I like to see what we're eating and what I plan to eat so that's what this page is for the first page is going to be my budget for the month my food money I have coupons thing like that this will all go on this page and I plan on clipping my coupons right there so that'll be that this is gonna be the meal planning section where I'm writing out our actual meals so we won't be you know having spaghetti five times that week I'll be able to see this is a better layout and this and then for these blank pages these are gonna be my shopping list more than enough room I usually shop every week so I literally only need four pages I have about two, four, six, eight, nine pages, more than enough room. Then for this page, I was thinking about doing like my black and soul or my business, what I'm gonna be cooking for that this month. Like last month we did, I think Tony did a baking recipe and I did a cooking recipe. So I would like to utilize that page for this. Again, I only got this for food related stuff. It may seem extra. It just helps. It just helps me like focus in on certain things and everything's in one place. There is a tab just for notes. 
and I opted for graph paper. Again, if I am having going to a potluck or a special event and I wanna write out the recipe or write out ideas, I have it right here on this paper. But this is simply for meal planning, food related content. That's all this one is for. Plus it's so pretty y'all, isn't it cute? This planner is primarily gonna be for my business. Um, we have a lot of meetings. I take care of the charity end of the business. So I'm meeting with a lot of charities. Uh, we have to go over layouts, you know, things like that. So I just wanted a regular, regular notepad paper. It had to be cute, y'all. So, you know, I got the rose gold one. You know, I'm obsessed with it. This one isn't that exciting. It's just a regular, regular old planner. My main planner that I showed in the beginning of the video is going to go in this, which is my leather Kiki K. And Tony got this for me four or five years ago. It's held up super good. This is what was in here last time. Y'all, this color, this cover is so beautiful to me. And I love the gold detail in this planner. But I will be moving in said planner with the first one, the one that was unpunched. We'll go in here. So now that all the planners out of the way, I know that was a lot, y'all. I'm gonna get into some of these planner supplies. First one being stickers. Again, I told y'all I am not a big heavy decorator, but there are certain stickers. I'm like 12 that I have to have, and those are weather stickers. I put the weather in my planner to plan out. Yes, I have an iWatch, I have an iPhone, I can definitely do that, but it works out better for me to have it in my planner. Maybe I wanna cook a warm meal, like a soup or a chili, cause it's gonna be cold, things like that. So I like to have my weather stickers. And this, y'all, why y'all didn't tell me that there are stickers? on Amazon for planners because chow. Now I paid, I wanna say $15 for this. First off, I love this little folder it comes in. And this is the company, y'all they send handwritten notes. That's something you don't see every day on Amazon. But get into these stickers. I told y'all I love to plan mainly on my monthly, I'll use the stickers. And this is the pack that has all of the months. Here's January, February, which is pretty much my favorite one. So cute. And they all pretty much have pretty much the same thing. Like this one has call, reservation, weekend vibes, has all this heart stuff. Super Bowl Sunday, cause we will be watching it. Unfortunately, y'all know who I'm married to. Here is March. This is a cute color scheme. I'm gonna make sure I let you guys see everything. April, May is adorable. Giving me all kind of AKA vibes with the colors. We have June. July, August, September. Sorry if you guys can hear the cars. I'm right by my window. October is super cute. I love October. November, which is a surprising color scheme because usually November is usually like a blue. It's December. So I have all the months and then we get into these other stickers. This one looks like it is for like nails, a progress, hair appointments. Uh, there's a workout, you go girl. This one looks like important to do organization. This is a birthday layout, happiness goals. This one looks like it's for money. This one too. Just like all of these stickers y'all for 15 bucks. Now that may seem like a lot to some of y'all who don't plan or buy stickers. But for this amount, that's a daggone good price. I'm not even lying, it's a really good price. And these are gold foiled stickers. They are so pretty. This is doctor's appointment, dentist, just so cute. I also did pick up some washi tape. Again, minimal decoration, but it's always cute to outline your pages in washi. It's quite a few. Can't remember how much I paid for this, but it wasn't that expensive. And the last thing I ended up buying was a six bound hole puncher. I needed this cause I have an A5. Y'all saw the planner that I got that was unpunched. I literally last year and the year before that hole uh, punched the whole planner with a single punch. It was not enjoyable and it took forever. So I just invested in this. That's pretty much all of the supplies I got for this year. Yeah, just wanted to come on here and share with y'all. I don't know if I'll be doing planner related videos on this channel. I want to, but I don't know if there's a big enough audience for it. So let me know in the comments if you want that and I um, definitely will do it for you. But yeah, if you like content like this, go ahead and hit that subscription button and become one of my YouTube besties. Until next time guys, bye.